Amen. It is easy to understand why David said what he did. That I was glad when they said unto me, time to go to church. <laughs> Amen. Because I found out that the Word of God doesn't tell us you need to be faithful and not forsake the assembly simply so that it can be legalistic. Well, you know, the Word of God has received a bad rap by a whole lot of people just saying there's only a bunch of do's and don'ts in there. Uh -huh. But how many know the Word of God is sharp and powerful yes, yes. and full of purpose? Amen. Amen. And so, uh, you know, when you begin to dig into it, it becomes alive in your life. Amen. Yes. And I'm uh, so excited about the Word today. Sister Evelyn is uh, going to be bringing the Word. Come on up, sister. You're going to preach from down there? Okay. Well, you're going to have to stand there while I talk about you for okay. a minute then. <laughs> it is so wonderful to have Brother and Sister Shay back with us uh, on a Sunday. They've had a lot of different engagements going on. And, and uh, of course, their ministry is such that it takes them out of town often. But we're so glad that they are based right here and part of the RPA family. <laughs> Praise God. And we just wouldn't trade them for anything. But I'm going to uh, give the service over to Sister Evelyn. And I know that God has been dealing with her. And so here's what I want us to do. I want us to open up and receive All right. All right. what the Lord wants to do. Because, you know, whatever uh, we've needed to take care of, if there's people that want to run in and out, do it now. Because I want everybody to be still and receive yeah what God has for us. Amen. I want us to take this seriously. Amen. Is that right? Is that Amen. what we need to do today, church? Amen. Because, see, here's what I've come to understand. This is a very specific service. Yeah. And God has come in a very specific way into this place today. Yes. And that's why the Word says to be faithful, JJ. It's because... The, the very service that you miss, or even, how many know you can be sitting in the church and miss the service? Oh, come on, you've done that. You've done that. Sitting right in the church and your mind a hundred miles away. So we need to bring our minds to church today and receive the Word of God and receive what God has come to do. How many are ready to receive from the Lord? Amen. God bless you, Sister Evelyn. You just preach what God has given you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I tell you, it's, it's always good to be back home. Because let me tell you, we've been out there. Not every place is like this. We don't have to worship like that. And worship team like that in a lot of places. Ooh, we were in one place. Ooh, I said that worship leader is dead than that. Floor. I did. Oh, it was just dead, dead, dead. And I don't like dead stuff. Amen. I'm used to it. Praise God. So it's always good to be back home and and uh, feel the presence of God. Not that we didn't feel the presence of God in other places, because we do. But it's just always good to to be back home and be under the anointing. I don't know. I, I said. Folks, I can't stand that. It's the oh, Lord. I can't stand it. Woo, I gotta have life. Hallelujah. I was born in the fire and I can't stand the smoke. Well, that's not what I'm gonna preach on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord has been dealing with me about today. And he what he did is he gave me a title. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And then I start working from there. Uh -huh. But the title to this message today is Step Aside. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Step Aside. All right. And there are people today, before you leave here, you're going to say, Step Aside. Oh, wow. Wow. Because right. God is going to put it in your heart. Hallelujah. Too many times we put up with a lot of stuff we don't have to put up with. Yeah, right. Amen? Are you there? Okay. 
Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. I, I gave her the scripture. So, oh, I can. Yeah, good, good, good. But I'm uh, the scripture that I have came from the New King James Version. I hope you don't think I backslid too much. Because <laughs> I've always said the King James is a sanctified version. Right. You know, duh. <laughs> but, but Matthew chapter 4 and verse 1, and I don't have it up there, but it tells how that Jesus was led by the Spirit yeah. into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Okay. Now, let's look at verse 8. The devil took him, Jesus, upon an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all kingdoms of the world and their glory. Yeah. Satan said to him, all of these I will give you if you'll fall down and worship me. And here's where I get my text. Verse 10. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan. And King James says, Get behind me, Satan. Right. In other words, step aside, Satan. All right. Mm -hmm. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and Him only right. shall you serve. Mm -hmm. Woo. Come on, and I looked at in King James Study Bible, and it said, Jesus said, Get thee hence, Satan. Right. Step aside. Step aside. All right. You've been bugging me long enough, and this stuff doesn't belong to you anyway. It belonged to the Father that created it. Yeah, right. right. That's good. So it's already mine. Right. <laughs> Glory to God. So step aside. Yeah, all right, good Lord. All right. Amen? Amen. Amen. So Satan left him. He stepped aside. Right. And then the angels came and ministered unto him. I'm telling you, how many's ever had a visitation from an angel? Sometimes angels show up and we don't even recognize them. We sent we sent our daughter Tanya to Germany one time to to visit, Dennis had a, a, a brother-in-law and sister that they were stationed in Germany, so they wanted Tanya to come, so we took her to the airport. We didn't explain all this other stuff to her. I just don't know why I didn't tell her about the all this other transitions you have to go through when you get there. And so she got off the plane. This is not my notes, but the Lord just brought this to my mind. She got off the plane and see, she was always used, it was in the days where you could meet people at the gate. Right. They don't do that anymore, you know. Yeah. And so she, when she got off the plane, nobody was there. And I forgot to tell her that they wouldn't be. So she was expecting someone, to, her aunt and her uncle, to meet her there. So she sat down. She couldn't understand the people. They spoke in German, and she didn't understand German, and, and, and they didn't understand her, so she just sat down and cried. Mm. And then all of a sudden, Sister JJ, a young girl walked up and said, follow me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So she followed the girl through the, what do you call it? The, yeah, terminal and out to where the customs, customs yeah, there, honey, thank oh, yeah. you, oh, yeah. to the customs. And she turned around to thank the young girl. She was gone. All right. well, but an angel came. She will not ever forget the visitation from that angel. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Hallelujah. I remember one time when I was in a meeting in California before I met Dennis and I was going through a terrible, horrible, horrible time. How many has ever been there? Horrible, 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 horrible. Well, all of a sudden I'm standing up there in front 
And the Spirit of the Holy Ghost just knocks me down. And I'm thinking, oh, that straight out supposed to be preaching. I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> and the Lord began to speak to me. Yeah. And somebody walked into the church door and started giving a prophetic word. Mm -hmm. Be not afraid. I am with you. And when I did get up, I wanted to go back and thank the person that came in for obeying God. They weren't there. So I go outside to try to find them. And I saw this man getting... Now, the church had a driveway, but on each side of the driveway was a great big ditch. Well, I saw the man get into the car. And honey, that car did not go through the driveway, but it went over the ditch. <laughs> Woo! We better stand there with, honey, whoop, shout, praise God. And we all knew and agreed that was an angel that came to visit us that morning to speak to me and say, don't be afraid, I'm with you. Now, let me tell you, there are some of you under the sound of my voice today that you are going through experiences that you seem to can't get out. God said, what we have to do is to tell the enemy to step aside because You cannot go through victorious. How many knows he's a liar? Step aside. Watch me because I'm going through. I said going through. Now when we get through, now while we're going through this, it ain't no fun. Right. You go through stuff. Some people say, well, if you were a God, you wouldn't go through that. Huh? <laughs> if I never had a problem, I'd never know he could solve them. Right. And as long as we are in this life, in this world, honey, I, I wish I could say you'll never have a problem, but problems will come. How many knows that? You're smart enough to know. But you are an overcomer. And all you have to do Say, get over! Yes. Step aside! Yes. You've lied to me long enough. Come on, come on, that's good. Somebody better shout glory. glory. Hallelujah. And then in Luke chapter 21, I mean chapter 22, verse 31, Jesus says to Simon Peter, this again is in the New King James. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. Yeah. Yeah. Satan asked for you. Mm. He wants you. He wants you. He wants me to believe his lies. All right. And I say, Satan, step aside. Right. And how was it? That's right. And I like what Jesus said. Mm. Verse 32. Now this is great. He said, but I have prayed for <coughs> you. Mm. <laughs> you don't have to be afraid because I And when you've got him on your side, if I've got him on my side, how many knows Jesus is on your side? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, I prayed for you. Oh, yeah. I prayed for you. So when we go through these difficult times, remember Jesus has prayed for you. Satan would desire to have you. Uh -huh. He said, Jesus, you just take down that, that shield. You, you, you just take it down and watch. Boy, they'll 
that, that's what he told Job. He'll curse you. Right. Ooh. What did Job say? Though God slay me, yet will I trust him. Yes. Whatever it is that we go through. Oh, come on. Whatever. Come on. Whatever, yes. Yes. God will bring you through. Right. And you'll have victory on the other side. Amen. Yes, Doris. Victory. Victory is ours. Amen? Let's victory is ours. Let the victory is ours. It's ours. Woo. Since we've been going through what we've been going through, you know, there's been times, you know, the enemy come and say, Ooh, God has forsaken you. Then I have to say, step aside. Because he said, I'll never leave you and I'll that's never right. forsake you. Yeah, oh, that's, God. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Really. Take your best shot. Because <laughs> I ain't going down. Come on, man. All right. Ooh, I'm glad I'm going up. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 So we must keep our sight. Upon Jesus Christ. Amen. Regardless of what we go through. Amen. You may lose everything. Sometimes I feel that's what we're going through. Lord, I never have I still have a, over 112 boxes <laughs> packed. <laughs> oh, yeah, praise God. But I, I still have the victory. All right. You know? Amen. I'm going to, you Amen. know, all for. For a few days, Mother Morgan, I was packing and crying. Oh, Jesus, I can't believe you let me go through this again. Oh, Jesus, right. crying and packing. How has ever had to do that? I can't tell that. <laughs>
And I and and we were we were going to be going to for a revival. And I'm going, oh Lord, I don't have enough strength. How am I gonna preach revival? <laughs> and then I went into my prayer room and started praying. Opened up the book of Isaiah. I've called you. Yeah. You're mine. Right. Yeah. I've chosen you. Yes. Yes. You are mine. Amen. Yeah. I am your God. Hallelujah. Be not afraid. <laughs> Be not afraid. He, and then and then on down he said, I am with you. I am holding your right hand. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I'm holding your right hand. Thank you, Jesus. So he said, I the Lord, I the Lord your God mm -hmm. will help you. He said, I will give you strength. About that time, I'll start shouting. Amen? Amen? Because God is our strength. Yes, he is. Amen. Sometimes we go, when we, we, we face these situations that seem so heavy and seem so hard for us, we think, oh, we can't get through it. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm here to tell you today that you can and you will. Hallelujah. Because the strength of Almighty God is present in this place today to give you strength. Today to minister to you. He's here. And if you can't feel him, something's wrong with your feeler. How? Jesus. In, in uh, Acts, did I already give you that scripture? Acts 20, 22. Listen to what. Ooh. Paul said this. I am now behold because see Paul had been preaching to the Gentiles and to the Jews he was preaching re repentance through Jesus Christ and the scripture said there came an uproar yeah. mm -hmm. verse 22 he said and now behold he said I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem not knowing the things that shall befall me. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel in the spirit. Bound in the spirit. I don't know what's going to befall me when I get to Jerusalem. I like what else he said. He says, The Holy Ghost witnessed to me that bonds and afflictions abide me. Here he was moving toward bonds and affliction. The Holy Ghost said, bonds and afflictions abide you there. Ooh, and some, of, some of his brothers and sisters tried to talk him out of going. Right. Yeah. Oh, don't go. don't go. No telling what will happen to you there. But look in verse 24. This is the victory. Yes. Paul says, but none, oh, hallelujah, this is shouting material, but none of these things move me. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. The Spirit said, you, you know, afflictions and, and, and bondage uh, awaits you there, but
my race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given to me. That's the importance. It isn't the one that starts in the race. Come on now. Ooh, I'm not thinking. You, you've seen people start out like a streak of lightning. Woo, they really got it. Yeah. Pretty soon, yeah. these things start coming. Right. Come on. That's right. Come on. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you don't see them anymore. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. But I'll tell you, saints of God, we here at RPA, we say in our heart, I'm going to finish the task Amen. that Jesus gave to me. Yes. I am going to preach the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. I'm going to let the lost and yes. dying world know that there is no other way except through Jesus. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No other way. No other way. No other way. And too many people are starting to fall back on these other religions. Uh, come on. Right, come on. I heard a preacher say the other day that, oh, times are going to get so rough that all of, that, all of the religions are going to come together and they're going to stand together. Because uh -huh. some of those religions are going to want to kill you. Amen. Right. Yeah. According to the scripture, they're going to want to kill you. Right. And, and, and if you say the name of Jesus, they're going to stop you. Right. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, if somebody tells you, don't you say that name. My, my, my. All right. Are you going to say, Jesus. Jesus. Right. right. Or are you going to tremble and say, Ooh, if I say Jesus, they're going to kill me. Well. But Paul said none of these things. Because see, God has chosen you and anointed you, and there ain't nobody that can take your place. Amen. Uh, Amen. No, there is not another Nate. Amen. Not another Pastor Doug Amen. Clinton. Come on, man. Mm, that absolutely wants the Holy Ghost to have his way. Oh, I remember one time I was scheduled to preach and the Holy Ghost just moved in and took over and I didn't get to preach. I didn't go home pouting. <laughs> right. I thank God because our pastor wants to allow the Holy Ghost to move. That's right. Yeah. Amen. And when I was praying this morning, Pastor, I just, I said, now God, you know I don't have to preach. Now, if you want to let the Holy Ghost take over, oh God, that's okay with me. And you know what? I didn't have to give him my permission. <laughs> right. He does what he wants to do because pastor allows him. Right. Yeah. Amen. So Paul said, I intend to, to finish the task right. that Jesus Christ gave Amen. to me. I don't care. I may not be the most popular person. Amen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you anyway. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care. I said, Jesus, I don't care who knows my name. I don't have to have any of them. No. Because you churches and told that God doesn't love you, my task or our task is to bring them in. Come on, yeah. Yeah. That's right. 
believe it or not, our pastor was one of those. That sure. Sure. he was told that he right. would, he's given his testimony. Yeah. But look at him now, Hallelujah. full of the anointing and power of the Holy Ghost. That's what blows a lot of people's minds. Oh, you say know that the power of the Holy Ghost is in the midst of these those silly old gay folks. <laughs> And I don't understand. It's not supposed to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he is. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus died for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time that we stand up and declare. I'm going to go through. Right. Yeah. I'm going to finish the task yeah. that yeah. God gave me to do. Yeah. And I don't care who likes it or who doesn't like it. Yeah. I'm going to finish. Yeah. Oh, Glory. Amen. I told you about that preacher from California calling me up and wanted us to come for revival. Then he called back a couple of days later and he heard about the people that we were preaching to. Uh, he said, I heard. Uh, well, yeah. And then he said, well, I don't think you should come. Ooh, praise God. When you, and he said, i got to pray about this. I said, whenever you pray about it and God reveals, gives you the revelation, call us back. We'd be glad to come preach for you. Right. But I intend to finish the task that God has laid yes. out for us to do. Yes. And then hair, lips, and devil, so be it. <laughs> but there's people that are lost and dying, committing suicide yes. because right. they love God. And they've been told that God doesn't love them. Right. Well, my friends, I can't even imagine somebody telling me God doesn't love you. Right. Wow. Right. I can't even imagine that. Yep. Wow. And and because I love God. Right. And so somebody that doesn't, they don't, they're not that, you know, that they believe because they believe what they're told because they had confidence in the man. Right. The man sure wouldn't lie to him. Yep. Or the woman yep. sure wouldn't lie to him. Right. And you know what? They don't intentionally mean t to lie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're telling people what they believe. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm, I've been reading in the book of Leviticus, my Jesus, how they take that one scripture out of the book of Leviticus sure. Sure. and when all that other stuff is in there. Right. Oh! It's full of stuff right. that was under the law. Right, right. And yet they like to pick out this one scripture. Right, right. Has sure. nothing to do. Amen. The salvation plan of Jesus Christ is to whosoever will let them yes. come. Yes. Amen. And don't let anybody stop you. Amen. And if Satan tries to stop you, just say, Step aside! Hallelujah. Jesus Praise God. is my Lord yes. and my yes. Savior. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Remember the three Hebrew boys. Mm -hmm. They love God. Yeah. They, did. Mm, they love God. And you know how that Nebuchadnezzar, oh, he he had this image. And you're going to bow. Everybody bowed, but these three guys, they just, can you imagine? They look like a, a three sore thumbs. Look it out. Everybody down on their face, and they're standing. Right there. And, see, they got the message that if you don't bow, if you don't give in, we're going to throw you in the fiery furnace. They go, duh. Go ahead and throw it. Because we are not going to bow. Right 
Because we serve God and Him only shall we serve. Yeah. Yeah. Now those boys, because of their stand for God, yeah, they went through the fire all right. Yeah. You know what? He didn't say that He would keep us from the fire. Right. But He'll be with us in the fire. Yeah. 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 Right. Don't you forget that. Whatever you go through, He's with you. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. So here are those guys. Huh. Oh, I'm telling you, these whew, these people thought they were destroying these prayer warriors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what did what happened? They just said, step aside. Right. We're not yeah. gonna bow. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are not going to bend, we're not gonna bow. Because we serve God, yes. Jehovah God. Amen. Him only shall we serve. Yeah. Hallelujah. We yeah. will not be under bow. Here they are. Through the furnace. Through the furnace. Here they are. Glory to God. How it reminds me of something pastor do. Oh, shut that up. Woo, shut that up. Woo, hallelujah. In the midst of the fire. Right. Can you just picture him? <laughs> As you see, he ain't gonna bow. Come on now. Okay, let's throw that Doug Clanton in the fire. <laughs> you might as well, because I ain't gonna bow. All right. And here they are, walking back and forth. Praising God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Didn't we just throw three in there? Yeah. How come there's four? Yeah. How, 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 how come I see four? Uh, come on. Come on. Well, he's, and one of them is likened to the Son of God. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, so here they are in the fire. But because these three boys had enough gumption to say, Step aside. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. We're not. Bowing and we're not going to right. obey right. you, but we're going to go through. Yes. And God was in the midst Amen. of the fire with them. Yes. Yes. Rocky, ain't that good? That's good stuff. Sir. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So what are we, you know, I am... Since the Lord gave this to me and I've been studying, I'm telling you, I am more determined than ever before. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, what we're going through ain't pretty, but it doesn't have to be pretty. Right. 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 <laughs> yesterday, was it yesterday, T.D. Jakes was on, I think it was, yes. and he was preaching, and I'm up there shouting, yes. he was preaching to me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just like he knew what we were going through, and I'm, ooh, I'm, I'm just walking back and forth in the yeah. floor. And Dennis had been in the, he'd been gone. He came in, and I'm walking back and forth, praising God, and he's standing there watching me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Get out of my way, Satan, because I'm coming through in the name of Jesus. What the enemy tries to throw your way. Amen. Step aside, enemy, because I'm standing true. Yes. Amen. Almighty God. Yes. Right. And these precious young people that the Lord has placed in this church, I'm telling you, I've, I, I've watched them grow, and it just, sure. woo, when I see them, I'm telling you, you know, I like to shout. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> but when I see these young girls jump up off the platform, right. come down here yeah. and start doing the jig, honey. Yeah. Oh, heaven comes down. Yeah. And that's all right. That's all right. Because they know that if God is on their side, you see, young people have their own stuff, don't they? Yes. Yes. Amen. 
And I thank God for the young people that God has placed here. Yes. I thank God for every one of you. And when we're gone, we miss every one of you. Amen. And I want you to determine in your heart today, you're going to take a greater hold of the things of God. Yes. If the enemy has robbed you from anything, just tell him, step aside, because yeah. I'm taking it back. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking it back. Yes. Amen. It's mine. Yes. Yes, it is. In the name of Jesus. The devil don't like it. Woo! Praise God. How many likes to make the devil mad? Just enter into praise and worship and glorify God. And he'll get Know how anybody under the leadership of Nate and Pastor Doug, I don't know how anybody could be still. <laughs> I do not. I do not. I mean, sometimes I think, well, I'm just going to take it easy. Huh, there ain't no taking it easy when you come here. <laughs> these young people out there praising God and, and woo! Yeah. I want to act like them. <laughs> Hallelujah. This morning, or today, sorry. Today, make up your mind. Because I know that there are those under the sound of our, my voice, besides just us, that are going through some stuff. Right. And okay. God wants to encourage you today and he wants you to determine in your heart. You're just going to say, step aside. Yeah. Step aside. I ain't having this no more. No more. Woo. I'm more than a victor through Christ Jesus. Right. Amen. Stand to your feet. Do you know? <laughs> he carries those little breath mints in his pocket and then, then he has to give me one. He doesn't want me to have bad breath when I'm breathing on people. <laughs> anyway, that's precious. Um, but you that are standing today that have been going through difficulties, today is your day of victory. Today is your day of victory. You take a hold. I'm talking to you. Yeah. You take a hold of the promises of God for you, your son, your life, your home. Take a hold of it. And just don't let go. Step aside. I'm walking through victorious with my baby. But it means that you have to Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You have to be dedicated to God. I'm telling you, saints of God, if we find a place of prayer and we seek the face of God, Hallelujah. when we come out, yes. Yes. we're going to be dangerous, <laughs> armed with the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Letting the Holy Ghost speak through you. That's why it's, it's important to pray in tongues yeah. every, every day. day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a prayer life, don't get up off of your knees until you can speak it in tongues. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Amen. Well, I don't believe in it. Too bad. <laughs> And you'll believe it. That's right. That's right. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of places I could go there, but I'm not going to. But I want you that are standing, if there are any of you that need special prayer, I want you to come because we are going to believe God with you. We're going to stand in faith with you. Yes. Satan, step aside. Yes. 
because Amen. these are the people of God. Yes. yes. And God yes. is faithful. Yes, he is. Amen. Now, if anybody needs special prayer, I want to invite you to come. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord.